This is what's left of Linda Martin's home, ashes and rubble, remnants of the life she and her family spent here together. Those were our bar stools that we had around our island. We had, that's where we ate dinner every night. Happy memories. Um, all my four children born here. Uh, uh. Seeing their destroyed home for the first time, Linda is overwhelmed. Her husband Ray was there the night Hurricane Sandy hit. He watched their house burn. You're trying to say to yourself, this can't be happening. You know, first it was flood water, and, and now I'm losing my house to fire. It was, and still is, largely incomprehensible. It was a home they spent almost every holiday in. But after the storm, the Martins have little choice. Thanksgiving will be a scaled-down affair. Rather than home cooking, they'll rely on catering from a restaurant donating Thanksgiving dinners. We're doing all plastic stuff this year. Usually I would have my, you know, nice china out. Paper plates, plastic forks. They simply don't have the materials to hold a proper Thanksgiving dinner. The family of six now squeezes into Ray's mother's home. Every day is a struggle. Constant calls into their insurance company, getting the kids to school. The two boys and my daughter are sleeping in here. Right now, we're just living with the basics. Just a pair of sneakers, a pair of shoes, and a couple of pairs of sweatpants and sweatshirts. So that's all we have right now. That's, and it's enough for now. They are grateful for what they do have, the opportunity to gather around a table with each other. And they try their best not to dwell on what they've lost. Precious photos, Linda's wedding ring. And everything that we lost, we know that it can be replaced. Um, I'm just happy that nobody was hurt. In New York, Bonnie Ghosh, The Associated Press.